Noble trainers, let's talk pros of this model. I have four things I like. Number one, the super fabric material. I think it's unique, it's very durable, it's maneuverable, and it's lightweight. Number two, the breathability of the tongue and the material itself. The shoe never feels extremely hot, especially if you're wearing it on a day-to-day, -day, or if you're using it for something like a light run, or even like some rowing, or more cardiovascular activities. Number three, I like the midsole and outsole. I feel that they're pretty sturdy, they're pretty stable, and they don't compress very easily, and they're both really lightweight. And my final pro that comes along with the Noble trainer is how easy they are to clean. So I actually have dirt up here from my puppy stepping on me with muddy paws, and if I go and simply wipe it down, it makes the shoe look brand new, and they're super easy to keep sparkling clean. In respect to the cons of the Noble trainers, I had two things that kind of irked me. Number one is, there is a little bit of room back here towards the boot and the midfoot. And for me personally, I like a slimmer and more snug fitting shoe. So that was kind of a turnoff for me in jumping and running movements where I had a little bit of wiggle room. A lot of folks don't find that to be an issue, but I have a smaller foot. My foot is a little bit more narrow. So I kind of noticed the room in there. Number two is the sizing. So this is a unisex model. So both women and men can find pairs of these that will work for them. That being said, I'm normally a size 10 in cross training shoes. There's usually not too big of an issue with sizing, but I find that these run a little bit small and that my toes were actually jamming in the toe of this when I was running and doing like long duration walks on my commute and stuff like that. So definitely something to keep in mind. Look at the sizing chart. If you're a guy, I would definitely recommend probably going to half size up, but we'll touch on that more in the sizing and fit section. In the gym, these shoes perform pretty consistently. I didn't notice any compression in the midsole or outsole. The toe is reactive for power movements, so anything with jumping, power cleans, wall balls, where you need to really get up on the toe. I thought these models were pretty great. Also, the outsole here is pretty grippy, so on things like boxes and rubber floors of CrossFit boxes, they grip pretty dang well. In terms of the compression, I squatted up to about 315 pounds in these, and I never noticed any compression. That's similar to what I've done in all the other cross-training shoes I've reviewed. On a day-to-day -day basis, these are actually one of my favorite shoes to wear. I think they're incredibly comfortable, besides the sizing issue I did mention in the con section, but overall, this is a really good shoe to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, and I actually wear them on my commute. And one of my favorite things about these models is that they're pretty waterproof. So I actually wore them on a snowy day last week, and they kept my feet pretty dry, so I ain't coming to the office with wet feet. That's a pretty big deal for a lot of people, especially when doing longer workouts where they might have sweaty feet. In the gym, it's a consistent shoe. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's a consistent shoe. It's breathable, lightweight, and waterproof to a certain degree. I like all of those things, especially when wearing this model on a commute. The only con I really had with this in terms of performance was the sizing, and I mentioned that in the cons, but I'll dive a little bit more detail in our next section. All right, so now let's talk sizing and fit. These shoes are unisex, so they can work for both men and women. I'm normally a size 10 in all the cross-training shoes I've worn, and I got a size 10 in the Noble shoe. So let's try it on, and I've mentioned this in the con, but these shoes do run a little bit tight. In terms of overall feel of where my toe is coming up, I'm about right here at the edge, and normally for a lot of folks, that's not gonna be a huge issue, but I have a slightly more narrow foot, so that means that this shoe isn't holding me incredibly tight, so I have a lot of toe jamming when doing running or jumping, and that's something that I'm not a huge fan of, so if you do have a size that's a little bit on the larger size of your true to size, I would say go up a half size if you're a guy. For women, I would say look at the sizing chart and scale accordingly. But for men, I would definitely recommend looking into a half size up. Let's pull these shoes fully tight to give you an idea of what they look like when they're fully secure. So fully tight here. One thing I do like about this model too, in terms of their sizing and fit, besides being just a little bit too tight in terms of length, is that they are made a little bit wider up here in the toes. That's great for toe splay, and it's good for having like a little bit of extra wiggle room on a day-to-day, -day, so you never really feel constricted in this model. But in overall size and fit, I think if you're a guy and you run a little bit on the larger end of your true to size shoe, I would say go up a half size. Women, I would say check the sizing chart before ordering. The price of Noble trainers kind of vary, and you can expect to pay around $129 to $159, depending on the color scheme you want. So in terms of overall price, these are definitely one of the pricier models on the market. Granted, they are a little bit of a smaller company with a more niche shoe. So if you really value having that shoe that's great for a day-to-day -day basis, but also functional fitness workouts, then the price might fit the bill. But again, it's not the most cost-efficient model on the market. All right, so let's break down the construction of the Noble Trainers. Let's make our way from the heel to the toe. So back here on the heel, we have a boot that comes up decently high. It's not incredibly thick in terms of material out here, but it does have a boot back here that has a pretty good cup to it, so it's pretty stable in respects to the stability and different movements and workouts. On the heel itself, we have a midsole that is a little bit more lightweight here, and then we have an outsole that wraps up and extends a little bit further on the heel back here. 
That seems pretty durable. It doesn't seem like it's going to break down. It's pretty non-compressible too. We have Noble written on the side for some branding. On the inside of the shoe, we have hashtag I am Noble. So if you ever forget, you can remind people. Um, on the midfoot, we have five eyelets that go up. We have metal loops here on each eyelet. Uh, that's pretty cool because if you like to pull your shoes really tight, some cross trainers that don't have the metal loops can actually stretch out over time, especially if you're running or jumping a lot. So I like that feature a lot with this model. The tongue is breathable. It's very lightweight. As you can see, it's not the widest tongue ever. So I think it's pretty, like it feels very versatile and very athletic feeling when you lace up and you're fully tight. It has an inner loop here so the laces feel pretty sturdy on the tongue itself. Working our way down here to the midsole and outsole, we have an outsole material that wraps up on both the medial and lateral side. That's great for things like rope climbs where you need a little bit of extra traction, or if you're even squeezing a medicine ball between your feet. So on the toe up here, we have the outsole that wraps up a little bit further. It's not really a full lip. It kind of covers the whole toe, and I'm a big fan of that, especially since this is a more functional fitness style shoe. Any kind of toe dragging and like box jump burpees, this shoe is going to be pretty durable on, I feel. And also we have a midsole material similar to the heel that comes up here on the lateral and medial sides. All right, so the biggest construction feature worth noting about the Noble Trainer, and this is why I saved it for last, is the super fabric material that encloses the whole shoe. That's these little rigid plates all the way around the shoe. And three things I really like about this material is number one, I've mentioned it earlier, is that they're pretty waterproof. Number two, they're breathable, but they're not so breathable to where it feels like the shoe is super airy and it's letting water in. And then number three is they're very versatile and durable. I didn't notice any breakdown of the shoe. And when I have to clean them, I don't notice like the shoe is kind of wearing down in terms of material. So in terms of overall construction, that's probably the biggest pro about this shoe itself. And that's kind of what makes Noble Trainers what they are. That concludes my review of the Noble Trainers. In terms of overall comfort in the gym and on a day-to-day -day basis, this is a pretty great model, but there are some sizing issues I would definitely recommend looking into before investing. To read more of my full thoughts on how they perform and everything that goes into their construction, visit our full review and Google Barbend and Noble Trainers.